Hello, this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is private key encryption. In private key encryption, data is encrypted by one single key, which sender and receiver know. That's why private key encryption is also called symmetric key encryption. Because a single key is used during the both encryption and decryption of data. Here is an example. Tom is sending a lovely message to Mary, and he doesn't want anyone else to see it. He wants both romance and privacy. He wants to encrypt his message. Well, that's easy because Tom shares the same key with Mary. They will use the same key during the encryption and decryption of the data. Here is how it works. First, Tom uses his key to encrypt his message. Now his message is encrypted to scrambled data. No one can read it. When Mary gets the encrypted message, she uses the same key to decrypt his message, so she can read it in plain text. What happens next? Do they get married and live happily ever after? I don't know, but at least Mary knows. What Tom says, plain and clear. Next, I will talk about two methods of symmetric key encryption. The first method is stream cipher. Stream cipher works on a single bit at a time. It encrypts a data on the fly, bit by bit. This method is not much used in modern cryptography. RC4 is the most widely used of all stream ciphers, particularly in software. A block cipher is an algorithm operating on fixed length of groups of bits called blocks. It encrypts the data in certain length, not bit by bit. When data comes in. Data comes in chunks. The usual size of each block are 64 bits, 128 bits, and 256 bits. Some notable block ciphers include DS, Triple DS, IDEA, RC5, AES, and Bluefish, and just to name a few. Private key encryption is a simple encryption method because both parties are using one single key. It's easy to use, but it has a disadvantage. The biggest problem with private key encryption is that you need to have a way to get the key to the party with whom you are sharing data. If someone gets their hands on the key, they can decrypt everything encrypted with that key. If the private key encryption is used for two-way communications, it means both sides of a conversation will get compromised. You may ask. Is there any alternative to private key encryption? The answer is yes. It is public key encryption, which is another story in another video. Thank you very much, and see you next time.